These are my top three collectibles that I think everybody is sleeping on and one tweet can change everything. Kid Arcade. Dr. Doom. Just look at this little guy. He looks so perfect. And if VV was to gamify anything, it's definitely going to be the Marvel Mighties first. Let me rephrase that. It's not just Dr. Doom. I'm bullish on all the Marvel Mighties. But right now we're taking a look at Doom because he's my favorite one. Can everybody tell me down in the chats, what are your top three favorite Marvel Mighties? Let me know in the comments down below. What are your top three favorite Marvel Mighties. I'm going to give you guys mine. Are you guys ready? My first one is Dr. Doom. Yo. We just talked about him. The second, my second most favorite Marvel Mighty will have to be Odin. Yo. Look at Odin. Wait. He looks amazing. Imagine this being gamified. It's over. And my third favorite would have to be Red Skull. Look Yo. at Red Skull. Red Skull Wait. just looks legit. He has a Tesseract cube. He is looking official out here. You know what's the beautiful, what's beautiful about these items right over here? Just how Vivi has VV exclusive comic book covers. So if they were ever to release a comic book in the real world, they can always re-release old school comics as facsimiles with a VV exclusive cover. Legendary. If VV was ever to do a physical collectible, what collectible do you think that's gonna be? It's gonna be the Marvel Mighty. Why? Because it's a VV exclusive. If you see this toy at Target, you're gonna think of VV. You're not gonna you might even not, you might not even think of Vivi. You might look at the packaging, turn it around, and look. It says Vivi exclusive, and then people are gonna be like, "Oh, this is a Vivi exclusive. What is this?" Bingo, bango, coming in at number two, Homer and Bart golden moment. Oh, I love the Simpsons. And just imagine they tweet out, hey, we're releasing Marge Simpson or we're releasing Maggie, any of the Simpson characters. Everybody's going to go back. People forget about it. There's nothing Simpsons coming out. So there's no reason for you to think about the Simpsons. But as soon as they announce a Simpsons drop, this item right here has a lot of room to grow. And that's why I'm keeping my eyes on it. Coming in at number three, we got the metallic red Dr. Octopus. That is right, man. Just look at this piece right here. They've already announced that this is a part of a series. So we know that they're going to drop some more we haven't had one in a while who's to say that they're not going to drop a hulk in a metallic red what if the hulk secret rare is a metallic red if they drop a metallic red hulk this piece right here is going to start moving because there's not that many in circulation they had to burn a lot of this a lot of these pieces as soon as we get any announcements of a hulk or any other character dropping in a metallic red it's over that's what i think maybe i'm wrong let me know in the comments down below man i wanted to put out this video real quick just to see where everybody was at let me know in the comments down below i should have put the prices on them at the current moment the metallic red dr octopus is 28 gems at the current moment the homer and bart is sitting at 85 gems it's about time they haven't dropped a simpsons character in almost two years the dr doom marvel mighty is currently sitting at 198 gems i'm very excited for them to announce any type of gamification with these pieces because dr doom is one of is going to be one of those that's going to become unobtainable for a lot of people but i want to know what do you guys think? Do you guys think we're onto something? Am I tripping? Let me know in the comments down below. I would like to know. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.